what is going on everybody back at it again with another YouTube video and you know I'm back after a two-day break I there's really nothing to talk about and it's getting super hard to keep this streak going of me posting every day and you know if you have any ideas down below if you want me to do like a draft board or if you want me to do like whatever you can comment it down below and I will 100% probably do it just because there's literally nothing to talk about at this point in time there's no sports as everybody knows we don't know when this whole thing is going to end and it's just getting literally imp it's almost impossible to post every day without either stealing somebody's idea or repetitively talking about the same thing that every other person is talking about so I just really wanted to hop on here and say like thank you to everybody who has been a part of 444 Philly fan this far. If you haven't already, give this video a like. It pushes it out to people like yourselves. Great Philly fans, great sports fans, and let's talk about it. Let's debate about it. I love talking sports, and so does everybody, and so do you guys. I'm sure you all love talking sports, and that's what this channel is. Not only is it a Philadelphia fan account, but it is also a place to come and talk about sports. If you're a Cowboys fan and you want to comment down below, you think Dak is better than Wentz, we'll talk about it. You know, I don't really care. But, you know, give me some ideas, give me some topics to talk about, and I will 100% do it. Today's video is basically on Donald Trump saying that the NFL will probably start on will will start on time in all in late August, mid August, early September with fans in attendance. Now that's huge, obviously. I mean that's obviously very big because right now where it is now April 5th, we've been on this since when like March 12th. March 16th, something like that, almost a month in quarantine. We have almost spent a month in quarantine. There has been no sports on since the last Sixers game against the Pistons. And I can't remember, I'm pretty sure it was like the 11th or the 12th. I'm pretty, it might have been the 11th. And you know, we've obviously been without sports. And it's, for somebody that talks and breathes and lives Philadelphia sports like me, I mean, you could tell, you can literally, you look around my room, you see all the teams, you got the, you got the little banners right here, you got the wheel of pennants right here, I have, I wear Philadelphia clothing every day, and if you guys want me to make a video on my jersey collection, then I'll do it, it's really whatever, it's whatever you guys want, and I might have to make that video tomorrow just to get something out there to you guys, because I love interacting with yous, and I want to be a YouTuber. I love making videos. I just got this new camera. Everybody can tell. Everybody's complimenting on the camera. Thank you. I am working on a new setup. So in the background, I'll probably just have that wheel of pennants right here. Or my it will be like right here. So you'll only see a white wall with the four teams in the background. Whatever that may be. But I really wanted to come on here, make a video, because I love interacting with you guys. I Ever since I started this, I started this in mid-October, right after the Detroit Lions versus Philadelphia Eagles game. I was at the game, and I just, you know, went out that day, that Monday, bought a camera, and record. And hit record. And that's what I did. And that's how this whole thing kind of started. And now we are at 276 subscribers in six months. I can't thank you guys enough. I never would have thought that I would be where I'm at right now. I'm not getting paid from this. This isn't like, oh, hit that sub button, hit that like button so I can get paid. Yes, it will come down to that. It will. I want to make money off of this. I want this to be a job either on the side or a full-time job for me in the future. But right now, it's just strictly fun. I just love doing it, and I love talking sports with you guys. 
And I know I, I was starting to talk about the topic that I wanted to, but I just really wanted to say thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I even might do some live streams where I play like a Call of Duty game and you guys can just comment whatever you want and I will read the comments and we'll talk about sports. It's whatever. It is whatever you guys want. That is what I'll do. So to get back into the topic, Donald Trump said that sports will resume or the NFL will start on time. You know, that's that's big. That is very big. I would love baseball to come back. I would love basketball and hockey to come back. I don't see hockey and football uh, and uh, basketball coming back. I just can't see it. We're too late into the season, and I'm pretty sure the Flyers would have started their playoff run tomorrow or the next day, something like that. They would have been in the playoffs. We would have probably had the first or second seed in the Metro, and... You know, it sucks. The Flyers were on a very hot streak. They were doing very well. And, you know, it sucks that we we can't watch what could have happened. The Flyers haven't won a Stanley Cup since 1975. I'm not saying they were going to win the Stanley Cup. But I'm, I'm not going to tell you that they didn't have a shot. They were the hottest team in hockey at the time. And... You know, coming off a loss to the Bruins, we would have played the Lightning the very neck the on that Thursday, and we never got to play it. Who would who knows what could have happened with the Flyers, with the Sixers, if this never happened, honestly. And that's why I think it's it's big to play football because football everybody tunes in on a Sunday to watch a football game. Everybody does it, no matter who you are. Most. Americans, most people watch NFL football every Sunday. And to include that, to for the president to reassure that there will be football on time, I think that's big. I think, yes, it might take a while to get fans back in the stadium, but he said there will be fans in the stadium. He said, we're hoping to have fans in the stadiums by then and you know that sucks for baseball purposes but I I don't know I love football and I don't think football would be the same without fans in the arenas I mean you don't call us the Philly faithful or you don't like people don't like playing Philadelphia because of the fans so if you take that away from people you know the Eagles might not be as good as they are we have home we travel so well we go to different stadiums we went to miami last year we went to new york we went to washington we went to dallas we are traveling fans and that's awesome but if you take that away i don't think the eagles could perform i mean they have the talent don't get me wrong but i just think with the fans the home field means so much to the city of Philadelphia, and you can just tell by the other sports teams. The Phillies had a better record at home. The Flyers and the Sixers lost a combined, like, five games at home all season long. That's not normal. Like, there, like yes, there can be teams that the, the NBA team does good, but the hockey team sucks at home or on the road or whatever. In this case... The Sixers were trash on the road. Let, let, let me get that straight. They sucked on the road. The Flyers weren't the best team on the road. They were better, but they weren't the best. But then you took it to the Wells Fargo Center, and we dominated teams. We destroyed teams. We beat Boston in a shootout 6-5. to five. We beat the Rangers. We beat the Devils. We beat the Capitals twice. We like we are just so much better at home. And even with basketball, we beat the Lakers. We beat the Clippers. It's we beat Miami. We beat Boston twice. Who else did we beat? We beat almost everybody except Dallas. That's the only team that we didn't beat. And that was the Dallas Mavericks. Every other team we've beaten at home. So like at the time. So that's why I think having fans in the sections or in the stadium is so important 
Because if you don't, I don't think us Philadelphia fans and I don't think our teams would do as good. Honestly, I'm being 100% honest. And, you know, some people might say, oh, well, it's it's because you just don't have talent. Well, okay. You know, if we don't have talent, at least we have fans to back it up. You know, like, say if Carson Wentz does bad. Yeah, we might boo him, but that just makes him want to be better. We're hard on our players. We're hard on our teams because we care about them so much. We do. We honestly do. I've never seen a city of fans that has backed up a team this much. This, They back up a city. They back up the Flyers, the Sixers, the Phillies, the Eagles. We are just a great fan base. And that's why it's so important to have these fans in the stadium. And I don't think... The NFL will start if there are no fans in the in in the stadiums. I just can't see it happening. I can't see them starting on time with no fans. So that's it for this video. I really just wanted to hop on, make a video, talk about you know my my thoughts and opinions on the whole NFL starting on time thing. Again, I really wanted to say thank you. This was the main purpose of this video. I also had to throw a little bit of sports talk in there. But I really wanted to say thank you a lot. We're almost at 300 subscribers. You know, I love doing this, and I want to continue doing this for a very long time. Sports talk is something that will never get old to me, and I hope YouTube is around for a very long time so I can keep talking to great fans like all of you. So with that being said, like share, comment, and most importantly, subscribe. Let's grow this channel to be the best Philadelphia sports channel on YouTube. Follow my Twitter, 444fan, the number four, the number four, the number four fan, and also follow my Instagram, 444 underscore fan. Both of them will be in the link down below. Thank you all for watching. I'm out. Peace.